Hey what's happening everybody and welcome to Dad Play. If you're new here we're a metaverse gaming channel and right now we're focused on Decentraland and today we are bringing you a play to earn feature for a game that we have been exploring over the last couple of weeks and something that is immensely fun and something we definitely recommend that you come and check out. Today we are over at Dice Masters and in order to get over here you're going to be coming over to 148 minus 11 or you may very well find it up here on your places tab because it is within the top trending scenes right now and what you're going to want to do is come over here and this is going to be a bit of a grind to start with but it is totally worth it and I'll explain to you why. Today we're just going to cover some basics of what the game is, what you need to do and help you understand how to get started over here um, and if you do like this kind of content make sure you do like and subscribe to our channel because we do post sort of regular things like this quite a lot of the time. But let's jump straight into it today. So the first thing you're going to want to do is start getting your level up. We're a level nine at the moment. And I think a lot of that was quite lucky for us because we started playing this very early on. And I think we got a lot of boosts from the different monsters and the different creatures that you can uh, attack and get experience points from. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start down here. You'll see your bag. And if you go into your, like, it looks like a knapsack here, you'll see that you probably don't have a lot of this sort of stuff. But the things that are going to be used for crafting in this game are your metals, your food, berries, um, wood. These are health potions which you'll get as you level up and as you go around the game. You'll get these from different monsters as drops and things like that. You'll also have bones as well. Now all of these bits here, all of these components are used in crafting and I imagine at some point gold will be as well. There is the option to get pets so you can buy these for 10 mana each and then you have this top one here which is kind of like your inventory but more what your character is wearing so you won't have anything when you start this but you can craft these items like we're here we've got a wooden helmet a shield and a sword and we'll cover how you do that in just a sec so when you come out well the first thing you're going to do is come out of this main area you can talk to the king and the king is going to start telling you about a quest that you can go on to bring back a rebel uh, like a rebel person that the king needs to uh, I don't know have some kind of justice against um, but let's cover the basics of what you're going to want to do to get your level up first. So when you click these chickens, you'll see it comes up and you will get the like critical attacks come up. But these guys, they won't attack you. They won't do anything to you. They'll just literally fall over. And you'll see the experience bar here will start going up as it registers all of these different uh, attacks and all of these different kills that we're getting. Now, these are going to give you the most basic, basic levels of experience. But what these are also going to give you is you'll see if you go into your uh, the bag one here this will start going up your food your food will start going up then as you journey through we'll come back to this section in just a moment but as you come out into this main courtyard area and this is all new but you can click these uh, like the button to shake these trees and these are going to give you berries if you come around the outside here there are trees around here and you can chop these and these are going to obviously give you wood and then as you come around the back here you'll find the mine and if you come in here you can click these rocks here and they're going to give you the metal that you need so that's kind of everything that you're going to get from there and then as you get a bit further up your levels around this section around by this like gothic looking castle you've got these executioners now if you click these these guys are going to fight you back you'll see that my player health is going down down, even though I've got a weapon even though I've got some armor but when they go down they are going to give you more experience and they're also going to give you the bones as well you will get bones from chickens but again the chickens and the experience aren't particularly much you will find these traders around you can use these guys to trade different things so this guy's going to give you he's going to trade you a hundred wood for whatever you've got so you can either pay bone or you can pay meat or you can pay iron and that's going to give you wood and the reason why you'll want to get these items, and we're going to go back to the main area now over here, because in this crafting area, which is to the left of where we just were, this is where you've got all the different marketplace stalls. And at the moment, there's only two that are working. You've got this wizard. If you click him, he will sell you a health potion for 50 berries. So you can shake those trees. You can get your health potions. Or you can come over to this crafting station 
and this is where you're going to start to upgrade your different items so when you click the item it will tell you what the requirements are and then you just simply press craft to then craft that item that's going to be the first way that you're going to start this game that's how you're going to take on the executioners as you get your level up and then the rest of it i suppose is about going around and exploring and right now there's a new version of this game that's come out and the newest version has got a quest on it so the quest that we've got is to go to a nearby village and and find the uh, the rebel person um, and then bring them back um, alive so that they can receive justice from the king who's on the uh, the throne there so we're gonna get on with that in just a moment um, but the last thing I will say is that as you run around and you speak to people like if you talk to Matilda here they're gonna talk to you about the different things to help you like find this is where your tutorial is if you come out and you talk to her she'll help you and give you a bit of a tutorial and then as you run around over by the tree section I believe it was there is someone over here and when you talk to them they start mentioning things like if you enjoy cutting wood you can become a lumberjack so you can go around and you can find the requirements to do that and then that will enable you to get different types of NFTs if you need to get them um, and actually while we are here let's talk about NFTs so if you come around to let me try and remember where this section was that I saw because it is a new one um, let's come out of here and we'll go round for a moment it might take me a moment just to find what I wanted to show you but it might actually be over here so if we come across this bridge here and over here there's like a scene going on this might be actually where the quest is over there uh, there is someone who's been captured by guards over there that you can go and you can talk and you can role play that I'm not gonna go through that now for you because I don't want to spoil all the surprises you've got a tavern over here so there are some things like lottery machines where you can pay you can gamble like wood or iron and things like that with a chance to try and win more the barmaid is gonna give you like you can see here they've got some different yeah, it's a bit more of like a it's the more the role play element so that's a great a great addition to it but what you, what I was going to show you was the NFTs um, and I believe so they're not in the chapel and they're not over here I've got a little bit of lag where I think other things are starting to try to load up let's go over here to this side um, it's not up there but you need to be a lumberjack to get up into that building Oh, it's frustrating when you want to try to show something very specific. There is an area, which is what I'm looking for now, and when you do find that area, you'll know where it is because you'll be going, oh, dab, it was right where you were. I probably just completely run past it, um, and it should be really obvious. But there is an area somewhere around here, I don't remember where it is, um, and it is very clear. There's like a bench with a whole bunch of like items and things on it, and it does clearly say craft wearable. Um, it doesn't seem to be working at the moment, but this is all pretty brand new. This is all following a most recent update that they produced for the game. So it is possible that that is something that's coming um, a bit later because they will need to get the, like, the wearables minted um, and obviously onto into the game so that you can actually purchase them. Um, yeah, so unfortunately that's not going to be something I'm going to cover in the video today because I've screwed up a little bit, I'm afraid. Um, but you you will find it. If you, if you come around and you explore, and this is what I say to everybody with Decentraland, is you know go out, have fun, and explore stuff. Don't just get caught in the same monotony of going in, playing the same games, doing the same thing. Do you spend some time going around and exploring because it's only by exploring that you find all the new stuff that is going around in Decentraland. Um, and that is, that is exactly how we found this game we saw something new pop up on the scenes thought we'd give it a trial and see how it will come out in fact actually I've just found it now this is what we was after so this is what I think we need to deal with for the quest but enough on that another day craft wearables it's over here so you're going to click this it's going to give you all the different wearables that there are I don't think you can do these just yet because we just clicked that one and I don't think it cost us anything out of our bag no, that's all just updated so nothing's come out of that so I'm guessing that eventually you'll come over here and that will be available for you to craft your wearables anyway enough of all that running around enough of all of the fun and games of us trying to find that 
thank you very much for watching the video today. I hope the content's been useful to you. Definitely do come over and check out 141 minus 4 or this kind of area. Um, you can find it if you press X and go to your places or your highlights tab. It will more than likely be on there. And again, a massive shout out to DCL Dating, who is a very renowned person now within Decentraland, who is one of the main owners and devs on this game. So you've done a fantastic job over here. Really nice attention to detail. And I can't wait to see big things from this game in the future. So massive congratulations to uh, DCL Dating and the team over at Dice Masters. Now finally, before I do go, I just wanted to make you aware of a super, super special scene, and that is coming just north of where we are here, actually, on this square right here, which is 14030. Now, if we're going to jump in real quick over here, just to show you what is going on over here. Now, this is all going to be kicking off probably at the end of July, getting into early August. Um, and this is quite funny because probably a lot of people would have switched off the video by now. But those of you that have stuck with the video, you're about to find something really, really interesting. Now, for those of you that have been following the Twitter, for those of you that have been following the channel for quite a while, you'll know that as part of our roadmap produced back in October, we had massive highly ambitious um, views of wanting to get a land parcel but because of when all of the crypto are almost quadrupled we were unable to do that but recently with all of the uh, dips that have been happening we have been in the position where we have bought a parcel now so 14030 is now the new brand new home of dab plays community hub now this is what we've put on here so far for you you can see that we are now sharing our scene with metaduckies because we have given them a big spot in our scene because it is a project that we are involved in. Metaduckies NFT is their Twitter handle. Go over and have a look at what they're doing. There are some giveaways of 3D model duckies just like the one we've got here for Dad Play. But over at the uh, end of July, early August, there will be announcements on Twitter. We will be launching Dad Play Presents and this is our brand new area which is going to have all sorts of fun and games going on. On launch night there is going to be a PO app there is potentially going to be a wearable that's free for everybody. There is also going to be a lot of giveaways and fun collaborative NFTs that are going to be completely given away for free with all of our partners that we've worked with since we started the channel in October. So add this one 14030 to your address book because this is the sort of place that you are going to want to come up over to and enjoy it as we get it all up and running. But for now that's enough from me. Thank you very much for watching the video. Please do like and subscribe to the channel if you like the content that we produce and we will see you next time in Decentraland.